Good morning, or good afternoon. Uh, many of you may know this already or may not, but uh, effective March 31st of 2020, Google is implementing some new uh, terms and service uh, and policy guidelines, and we're gonna get into that right after this. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Carl F. Rose, recording from Bedford, Pennsylvania, on Friday, February 21st, 2020. And uh, yesterday, when I logged into my Google account, I got with this banner thing talking about the uh, uh, new uh, terms of service and we're in there and I'm not going to read this whole thing this is really long-winded but I wanted to do this video because I believe it's really important um, and you should actually take the time to uh, read over this yourself um, I've already read over some of it but what I'm going to do is cover the highlights here uh, because what I want to get at the, the reason this is important for you if you don't follow these um, guidelines and these terms, not you could actually lose your entire Google account, have it totally shut down. And, and the worst case scenario, if you lose your entire Google account, that means you lose your YouTube channel, what's on Google Drive, everything. So this is you know a, a big deal. Um, so uh, that's why I want to get this out. I want to make this quick as possible I'll just kind of uh, uh, briefly go over but here it is Google's term of service effective March 31st 2020 um, and then it just says I'm um, here uh, this page offers a preview of uh, Google's uh, new terms of service that takes effect on March 20, 31st 2020 until then the existing terms of service uh, continues to, uh, to describe the rules you agree to when using our services for details we've also provided a summary of the key changes if you don't agree to the new ter terms of service you can find out find more information about your options in our uh, frequent, frequently asked questions the FAQ right up here let's just go over the uh, basic things here uh, we know it's tempting to skip these terms of service but it's important to to establish what you can expect from us as you use Google services and what we expect from you. So what I'm, the part that I want to focus on is what Google expects from us. Um, but let's go in here. Let's uh, hear what what you can expect from us, which describes how we provide and develop uh, stuff. What we expect from you, which establishes certain rules for using our services. As uh, like I said, if you break these rules repeatedly, you're going to lose your entire. Google account, which uh, means losing your YouTube channel and all kinds of things. So, um, and then the content and, and Google services, um, and then in case of problems or disagreements, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then it says, understanding these terms is important because by using our services, you're agreeing to these terms. Um, and then it says, besides these terms, we also publish a privacy policy. Although it's not part of these terms, we encourage you to read it to better understand how you can update, manage, export, and delete your information. Uh, okay, and then it's service provider has the Google address here. Uh, age requirements, and this is probably all because of the COPPA thing. Um, if you're under the age required to manage your own Google account, you must have your parent or legal guardian's permission to use a Google account please have your parent or legal guardian read these terms with you. If you're a parent or legal guardian and you allow your child to use these services, then these terms apply to you and you're responsible for your child's activity on, on the services. And uh, uh, this is absolutely necessary. So I see where they're coming from um, because um, leaving your child unattended um, on this sort of thing um, is it's just really not not a good idea um, and then uh, then it says some Google services have additional age requirements as described in their service specific additional terms of policies okay blah 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 um, okay your relationship with Google 
Uh, these help define the relationship between you and Google. Um, broadly speaking, we give you permission to use our services if you agree to the terms. Um, okay, uh, what you can expect from us, um, blah, blah, blah. We provide a wide uh, range of services, including apps and sites like search and maps. And that's what I'm getting at. If you lose your account, you're going to lose all this. Platforms like Google Play, you'll lose your ability to do that. Uh, so that's why um, uh, it's important. Um, so it's really important. To, uh, you know, obviously, I, I just ran into this yesterday. Um, I am going to take the Daryl Eves approach, and I am going to read th this entire thing. It's going to take a while, but it's really important. Um, so. Uh, let's go down here. We're constantly developing t uh, new technologies and features to improve our services, blah, 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 blah. Um, if we make material changes that negatively impact your use of our services or if we, are st or if we stop offering a service, we'll provide you with reasonable advance notice uh, and an opportunity to export your content from your Google account using Google Takeout. Um, so I suggest to check that out and go in there. Um, what we expect from you, okay? Uh, follow these terms and specific uh, uh, additional terms. Uh, the permission we give you is to use our services as long as you meet uh, the responsibles, responsibilities in these items. Service specific additional terms, which for which could, for example, include things like additional age requirements. Um, again, it's, a lot of this is probably with the, the COPPA thing, but uh, we also make uh, policies, um, help centers and other resources available, privacy policy, copyright help center, safety center, um, and all that. Uh, respect others. Here we go. And this, again, is probably going to go into the, the, under the harassment thing. Many of our services allow you to interact with others we want to maintain a respectful environment for everyone, which means you must follow these basic rules. Um, you know, comply with the laws, um, you know, including export control, sanctions, and human trafficking. Uh, resp respect the uh, rights of others, including privacy and uh, intellectual property rights. Don't abuse or harm, don't abuse or harm others or yourself or threaten to encourage such abuse. For example, by misleading, defrauding, defaming, bullying, harassing, or stalking others. Um, yeah, this is this is really important uh, because th there is a lot of nonsense going on that really needs to be cracked down on. Uh, don't abuse, harm, or interfere with or disrupt the uh, services. Uh, our specific, uh, service-specific additional terms and policies provide additional details and all these highlighted in blue are links to it so um, um, and if you find that others aren't following these rules uh, many of our services allow you to report abuse which yeah that's 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 a good thing um, if we act on a report of abuse we also provide a fair process as described in the taking action in case of a problem okay permission to use your content um, okay um, some of the services are designed to let you upload, uh, submit, store, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know what I'm getting at, YouTube and stuff. License. Your content remains yours, which means that you retain any intellectual property rights. So when you create your own video, that is your copyright. That is, and Ian Corzine, um, if you're not subscribed to his channel, he, he did a video the other day, um, you know, on, on copyright kind of stuff. Not COPPA. He's done a bunch of that on that. But he specifically talked about to protecting your channel. It's a, a sh relatively short video. So I suggest you go over there. Um, um, just, uh, you know, because he is a, a really good um, uh, online attorney. And um, he really explains things very well. Uh, so I... I suggest you go over there. Um, now it says, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, you have, for example, you have the intellectual property rights in the creative content you make, such as, you know, the reviews you write, or you may have the right to share someone else's creative content if they've given you the permission, um, blah, blah, blah. What's covered? The license covered covers your content if that content is protected by intellectual property rights. What's not covered? 
license does not affect your property or your privacy rights. It's only about your intellectual property rights. The license does, doesn't cover these types of contents. Publicly available um, information that you provide, um, blah, blah, blah. That information doesn't require a license because it's considered common knowledge that everyone's free to use. Um, and, um, and then there's always feedback. Scope the license, the license is worldwide, which means it's valid anywhere in the world. Non-exclusive, which means you can license your contact, uh, content to others. Royalty free, which means there are no fees for this license. Rights, the license allows Google to host, reproduce, distribute, communicate, and use your content, uh, publish publicly, perform or quickly display your content if you've made it visible, Modify, create uh, derivative works based on your content, such as reformatting and translating it. Um, Sub-licensing, other, other users allow services to work as designed. Uh, our contractors who've signed agreements with us that are consistent with these terms only for the limited purposes described in the purpose section. Again, that's blue, that's highlighted, you can go into there. Um, the purpose, um, Operating and improving the services, which means allowing for the services. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, this includes automated systems and algorithms to analyze your content for spam, malware, illegal content, recognize patterns in data. Okay. Uh, to customizable. Um, Okay, using content you've shared publicly to promote services, for example, to promote a Google app, we might quote a review you wrote or to promote Google Play we might show a screenshot of the app you offer in the Play Store uh, things like that blah 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 duration uh, if you remove okay let me go back here this license lasts for as long as your content is protected by intellectual property rights if we remove from our services any content that's covered by this license then our systems will stop making that content publicly available uh, there are exceptions. Um, if you've already shared it, and for example, if you've shared a photo with a friend that, who makes a copy of it, then that photo may continue to appear in your friend's Google account, even though you removed it from Google accounts. Okay, um, let's go down here. Your Google account. Okay, yeah, this is getting to be a long video. I wanna try and hurry this up. Uh, if you meet these, th these age requirements, you can create a, a Google account for your convenience. Some services require that you have a Google account in order to work, you know, just like your, your YouTube account. This is what, I, what I'm really getting at. For example, you need, you need to use G, uh, Gmail. You need a Google account so that you have a place to send and receive your email. Um, using Google services on behalf of an organization. I'm going to fly over that there. Uh, Service-related communications to provide you with... Uh, our services, we sometimes send you service announcements and other notification. Um, okay, your content. Some of our services give you the opportunity to make your content publicly available. For example, you might post a product or restaurant review you wrote. Uh, you might upload a blog uh, that you created. See the permission, again, here's another blue line. Permission to use your content. Uh, see the removing your content. Uh, if you think someone is infringing on your intellectual property rights, you can send us a notice of infringement. Uh, check that and then here, copyright there, you can uh, go in there. Uh, for example, we suspend or close the Google accounts of repeat copyright infringers as described in our Copyright Help Center, Google content, uh, then other content, uh, software and Google services. Some of our services include downloadable software, software we give you permission to use that software as part of the services the license we give you is worldwide non-exclusive royalty free personal which means it doesn't extend to anyone else non-assignable which means you're not allowed to assign the license to anyone else um, okay let's go on um, by law in case of problems or disagreements by law you have the right to one a certain quality of service and two ways to fix a problem if things go wrong. These terms don't limit or take away any of those rights. For example, if you're a customer, then you continue to enjoy all legal rights granted to consumers under app 
applicable law. Warranty, we provide our services using reasonable skill and care. If we don't meet the quality level described in this warranty, you you agree to tell us and we'll work with you to try and resolve this. Uh, disclaimers, okay. Um, that Liabilities for all users. These terms only limit our responsibility as allowed by applicable law. Specifically, these terms don't limit Google's liability for death or personal injury, fraud, fraudulent misrepresentation, gross negligent, or willful misconduct. Other than the rights and responsibilities described in this section, in case of problems or disagreement, Google won't be responsible for any other losses unless they're caused by the breach of these services in specific service-specific additional terms. Again, that's highlighted in blue. You can check the link there. For business and organizations, I'm going to go cut that past that. Taking action in case of problems. Um, before taking action, as described below, we'll provide you with an advance notice when reasonably possible. Describe the reason for our action and give you an opportunity to fix the problem unless we reasonably believe that doing so would cause harm or liability to a user, third party, or Google. Violate the law or legal enforcement authorities order compromise an investigation, compromise the operation integrity or security of our services, and then removing your content. If we reasonably believe that any of your content breaches these terms, service-specific additional terms of policies, two, violate, violates applicable law, three, could harm or our users, third parties, or Google, then we reserve the right to take down some or all of the content in accordance with applicable law. Examples include child pornography, content that facilitates human trafficking, trafficking or harassment, and content that infringes on someone else's intellectual property rights. Suspending or terminating your access to Google services. Google reserves the right to suspend or terminate your, your access to the services or delete your Google account entirely delete your Google account if any of these things happen. You materially or, materially or repeatedly breach these terms, so service specific additional terms or policies. We're required to do so uh, to comply with a legal requirement or court order. We reasonably, we reasonably believe that your conduct causes a harm or liability to a user, third party, or Google, for example, by hacking, phishing, harassing, spamming, misleading others, or scraping content that doesn't belong to you. If you believe your Google account has been suspended or terminated in error, you can appeal. Of course, you're always free to stop using our service services at any time. If you do stop using a service, we'd appreciate knowing why so that we can continue improving our services. Uh, then it goes into settling disputes and all that. Um, about these terms, uh, by law you have certain rights that can't be limited by a contract like these terms of service. Uh, these terms are in no way intended to restrict these rights. These terms describe the relationship between you and Google. They don't create any legal rights for other people or organizations, even if others benefit from that relationship under these terms. We want to make these terms easy to understand, so we've used examples from our services. Uh, but not all services mentioned may be available in your country. Um, and that's pretty much the sum of it. This was kind of a long-winded video, but I, I, when I logged into Google yesterday, I got the banner on there, so I thought, well, I better do this. Um, and again, this is just a really quick, brief, uh, overview of the thing and I strongly recommend you to really go over this yourself um, in detail so you don't lose your content. Um, also, uh, I do a lot of videos kind of like this, mainly um, like graphics and stuff and tutorials and stuff, but this was of, of major importance and I thought I just really should get this out and then and let everybody know that they need to go into their Google account and really take a, a look and deep dive at this and I have cards up here and there and I have links on my YouTube tips and that sort of thing in the description below so be sure to uh, uh, check that sort of thing and uh, we will talk to you next time.